atoms behave like a human. How is that? A human work hard to get a lot of money to become stable in their life. Alright? To have a beautiful life, a comfortable life, right? But same for atoms. They fight to become a stable atom. So let's take sodium atom here. Sodium atom has 11 electrons. So if we distribute these 11 electrons in these shells, you know like first shell's capacity is 2 electrons, second shell's capacity is 8 electrons, and here we have only one electron. If you look to the outer shell of this atom here, it's not stable because it's not filled with electrons. The third shell should be filled by 8 electrons, but actually here we have only one electron. So this atom is not stable, and it needs to do something to become stable. It's not logical to gain seven electrons to become filled of electrons, I mean, filled outer shell. So, the easiest way is losing the electron from the outer shell. Okay? After losing this electron, the atom looks like two electrons in the first shell and eight electrons in the second shell. The second shell is filled of electrons, so we consider the atom here as a stable atom so but we have something here it has a positive charge all right look at this here here we have 11 electrons when we had an atom of sodium but here we don't have a sodium atom we have sodium ion because it has a charge okay and actually this ion has 10 electrons you have two electrons in the first shell and eight electrons in the second shell so the overall electrons of sodium ion is 10 electrons okay so let's do something here according to the atom all of atoms in the universe are in neutral because they have equal number of electrons and protons electrons are negatively charged protons are positively charged so the overall charge is zero okay for sodium it has 11 electrons and 11 protons so the overall charge of sodium atom is zero Sodium ion has 10 electrons as a result of losing one electron from outer shell. So it becomes like this. It has 10 electrons and 11 protons. So the overall charge is positive 1. How we chlorine atoms gain stable outer shell? Chlorine atom has 17 electrons. So if we distribute them in shells like this, you know, like first shell's capacity, two electrons, and then we filled eight electrons in the second shell, and seven electrons in the third shell. But here we have only seven electrons in the outer shell, and this outer shell is not stable. So this atom will fight to become stable. Its fighting will be by gaining one electron from a certain atom. Okay. After gaining this electrons, its outer shell will be filled of electrons. Okay, it looks like this. But here we have overall charge of negative one. From where we got this negative one? Here, after gaining of this electrons, the total number of electrons of a chlorine atom become 18 electrons. So if we do some math here, all of atoms in the universe are in neutral because they have equal number of protons and electrons. But here we have a chlorine ion. It's called the chloride. All right, it has 17 protons. Protons, you know, like they are the identity of the elements. So the proton number won't change, but the electrons change. So the overall charge of a chloride ion is negative one because the number of electrons become negative 18 electrons plus the original number of a proton. So the overall charge is negative one.